Hey, I'm Brandy. And I'm Aaron Crane. On today's episode, we check out a bunch of naked protesters, the new Ghostbusters, and inciting some online attacks, and surprise, more Pokemon Go. All that and more here on The Input. Welcome to The Input, where we cover what you care about. Let's kick things off with some trending news. Nickelodeon made history this month, featuring the channel's first same-sex married couple on the animated show The Loud House. The cartoon centers around an 11-year-old character named Lincoln Loud, growing up in a household surrounded by 10 sisters. In this particular episode, Lincoln invites his friend Clyde McBride over for a sleepover, and he shows up with his parents Harold and Howard, an interracial gay couple. People took to social media to give their praise and support of Nickelodeon's decision to show a married same-sex couple in such a positive way. Although the happy gay couple's presence on the show was short-lived, it made a lasting impact on gay representation in pop culture. Is that pretty much like an animated full house? Pretty much, with a lot more girls. <laughs> Norman Reedus, aka Daryl from The Walking Dead, is known for being a bit of a prankster both on and off set. However, however, with his recent prank of co-star Andrew Lincoln, he may have outdone himself. While the glitter bomb is nothing new in the world of pranks, it is truly one of the most annoying. For those of you who don't know, the trick is simple. Pump all the glitter you can into the AC vents of a buddy's car on a real hot day. They get in, turn it on, and spend the next six months getting the flakes out of the seats. The video of this friendly little prank has gone viral with over 13 million views and 200,000 shares on Facebook. After the terrifying cliffhanger that was the season 6 finale, and the sad rumors that this will be Reedus' final season, playing our favorite bike riding walker killer, this bit of humor is just what we needed. Oh man, that prank is brutal. I'm yeah. so mad. <laughs> a 14 year old is being threatened with a lawsuit over his YouTube review of Matt Keeper. Lukeman Wadud may be brought to Norwegian court for harassment charges after posting a series of videos on YouTube called Matt Keeper Sucks. In the videos, Wadud calls out the service as a scam and breaks down his claims. He even goes so far as to prank call the company. In response, Matt Keeper jumped past the season, cease and desist straight into claiming that they would be willing to sue for harassment, libel, and slander. They even noted that in the past, they cost another YouTuber $60,000 in court costs and legal fees for similar offenses. The worst part is that the Matt Keeper may actually have a case against the teenager. In response, four of the five videos were taken down. Wadud has refused to take down the fifth. Wadud, where's my Matt Keeper? <laughs> Let's move on to some real news. Oh! Ah, uh, okay. Sony's all-female Ghostbusters opened in the number two spot at the North American box office with $46 million from almost 4,000 theaters. A lukewarm start considering the movie's sizable budget. Directed by Paul Figg, Ghostbusters hopes to relaunch the storied franchise Though the movie's early box office performance doesn't make that a guarantee. Sony executives are already promising further installments, noting that the pick scored the best opening for a live action comedy since Pitch Perfect 2. For the better part of two years, Fig and Sony have came under constant attack from vocal opponents of the decision to make all the leads female. This time, the ghoul chasers are played by Melissa McCarthy, Kirsten Wig, Kate McKinnon, and Leslie Jones. The online reaction to the film has been mixed, but the bigger issue is the number of sexist and racist remarks made following the film's release. Leslie Jones, a current SNL member, has gotten the worst of it with constant streams of racist tweets directed towards her. It was so bad that after a particularly harsh tweet, Jones officially left the social media site for good. TV psychic Yuri Del Harris, better known as Miss Cleo, has died. Miss Cleo found fame in the late 90s from her psychic hotline commercials and catchphrase, Call Me Now. Her fake Jamaican accent, set of tarot cards, and candles made her the face of Psychic Readers Network. Callers, callers would call in for counsel on many life topics such as failed relationships and paternity tests. Harris died after a battle of cancer as reported by her lawyer. 100 naked women gathered in protest of the Republican National Convention in Cleveland, Ohio. Artist Spencer Tunick, who is known for organizing large-scale nude shoots, had 100 women pose naked with mirrors over their faces for a project called hashtag everything she says means everything. The project aimed at female empowerment rejects the objectification and sexualization of women's bodies. The project synopsis reads, Republicans, Democrats, and all other political parties were welcome to take part reflecting their anger through art against the hateful repressive rhetoric of many in the Republican Party towards women and minorities. Trump and 
uh, Pence are giving many in America the belief that it is okay to hate. Over 1,800 women signed up for the shoot, but only 100 spaces were available. We missed out on 1,700 naked women. Darn. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to walk on water? Yes. Okay. Well, in the near future, with the new Huts, new water park being built on the Hudson River in New York City, you can. Well, kind of. Pier 55 is a 2.7 acre water park that can hold 700 people and has been funded by Barry Diller and his wife, Diane Diller. For a while, the construction of the water park has been delayed by the City Club of New York, arguing that the decision to give away parkland to build an amphitheater and outdoor space is illegal. After the state Supreme Court says it's fine to build the park, construction continued and we will see Pier 55 as a new landmark in New York City. How's it illegal to build a, a park? I really don't get it. I don't. The Pokemon Go madness continues with the latest story of two teenagers being detained by border control agents. The unidentified pair were so distracted by the game, they didn't notice they had wandered into another country. The agents caught the teens as they were making uh, walking near the Montana community of Sweetgrass, and once they realized they didn't pose a threat, they carried them to the nearby border patrol station, where they returned safely to their own country. After the break, we'll be back uh, with Dragon Ants and Comic-Con News. Nerds rejoice! We are becoming slightly closer to living in a world of dragons. Not really, but cool flying ants with dragon names. That's right, the names Fido Dragon and Fido Viserion may sound familiar to all you Song of Fire and Ice fans out there. If you were to read the research paper about these two new species of spiky flying ants found in Papua New Guinea, then you would note that the area where research team member Evan Economo states that the names refer to the golden and black colored dragons of Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. These ants look so much like the dragons from the popular fantasy series where there's spiny barbs along their backs and so shoulders with an unusual set of muscles beneath them. The spiky nature of these little guys are still confusing to the researchers, but it is believed to be a defensive measure in response to their cute little bobbleheads being too big for their bodies. I've never seen uh, Game of Thrones, so most of those names are pretty hard for yeah, me. Yeah, they're rough, but... This year's San Diego Comic-Con has sparked a lot of new trailers, teasers, and upcoming events for all comic nerds around the world. There was a lot of information to be said in two minutes, so let's just run through some of the news that was mentioned. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is coming to theaters May 5th, 2017, with Kurt Russell and Sylvester Stallone. Spider-Man Homecoming is going to have Robert Downey Jr. to play as Tony Stark and Michael Keaton to play as villain The Vulture. Brie Larson is going to be the, uh, Captain Marvel. Comic series Justice League Action will feature 152 different DC characters. Ghost Rider is going to be in the new season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Voltron Season 2 was announced by Netflix, and we got to see the teasers and trailers for Iron Fist, Snowden, Defenders, Luke Cage, Wonder Woman, Fantastic Beasts, Justice League, Star Trek Beyond, and Ash vs. Evil Dead TV series. Well, that's all of our episode. Uh, I'm Aaron Crane. I'm Brandy Carter. Thanks for watching. See you next week. <laughs>